Hey yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Scurvy and today we're going to be looking at an Oprah video from 1997 that was recently uploaded on the Oprah channel. It's titled, The Girl with 1000 Plus Letters in Her Name. So let's get into it. He's touching the truth. <laughs> Her daughter, who has a very unusual name. In fact, we can't pronounce her name, but we can tell you it has over 1,000 letters. We had to create a special graphic for her name. Take a look. That is her name. That makes Letitia LaShawn look simple. Letitia LaShawn Chante. I'm convinced the mom is the devil. This should actually be child abuse. I guarantee she got bullied all the time at school because her parents chose such a stupid name. Her birth certificate is two feet long. She has the longest personal name in the world, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. And we want to ask her mother, what were you thinking? I had to do something to break a Guinness Book record. I had to make sure that her name was going to be unique. This mom really ruined her child's life just so she could get a world record. I actually think she should be in jail for this. Just look at that paper. I feel bad for the doctor or nurse who had to write all that name down. I didn't want her name to be like anybody else's. <laughs> Make sure. What is her name? Else. What is her name? It's Rose Shandy, Antonisha, Vishen, Kishan, Simon, Drew, Shalinda, Shur, Carnay, Ronquel, Ninja, Shamika, Shanet, Tomika, Shawa, Hini, Vian, Chef. Your middle name is Kunyan Scott Girl, please. Okay, go on. You're done? My middle name is Kunyan Scott and my last name is Williams. Is she even saying words? It sounded like gibberish to me. How is your teacher going to fit all that into one of those little popsicle sticks? Good luck trying to get a driver's license. Didn't they pass some kind of law after this? Didn't they pass some kind of law after they this? They a law in Texas where you can only name your child the amount, uh, a name that fits on the birth certificate because they had to make one for her. Good job, Texas. I mean, they always say they're the best, and they might be because of this. What were you thinking? Her name had to be different, and I had to be in the Guinness Book. But what happens when you go to apply for a job? How old are you? I'm only 12. But you are eventually going to have to go to apply for a job. And yeah, yes. <laughs> what do your friends call, what do, they, what do you call her? But we gave her Jamie Chanel is her nickname, but everybody breaks that down to Jamie. So they just call her Jamie. Then you should have just named her Jamie. At the end of the day, a Guinness World Record means nothing. Like, yeah, it'd be cool to have one, but that's just a stupid record. Jamie Chanel. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so do you have other children? Yes, have four boys. Uh-huh. And what are their names? <laughs> <laughs> one is Rodney Larkin, Sandra Shaquille Tavon, and one is Prince Michael Rochelle, Sandra Shaquille Tavon, and one is Ishmael Malik, Sandra Shaquille Tavon, and my oldest is James L. Williams. <laughs> does James feel left out he in the does. family? He does. <laughs> and, 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 and what is your name? Co-Sandra Loyette Williams. So how long did it take you to come up with this? Six years. You had nothing better to do for six years? I could have made something up in ten minutes. She probably has some stupid meaning for every word. Six years. Uh-huh. So when you all were teaching her her name, when, you know, like babies are just kind of learning their name, they're learning, like, oh, my God, children, are le they learn, you know, nose and dada and I. <laughs> dog, dog, dog. <laughs> so what did you teach her? We had, I had to say it on a tape and then let her listen to the tape like you listen to a song. And she just gradually learned. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And how is, is it like a fun thing having this name? Yeah. You get to go everywhere and miss school. And she probably misses school because the teacher's trying to say her name for the entire class. And then you, but you gotta make up the work, so. Get to be on the Oprah show. Well, yeah. so when you are enrolled in school, does this name go like in your enrollment or do you just um, use? On the thing they put Roshandia, but uh, we have to attach a Piece Roche of my name. A paper. What does Roshandiet mean? Is this a combination of words that you came up with? Right. And then Ro there's movies Shan. and cars and countries and cities, and yes. she has a personality in the name. All her relatives. 
Well, now, <laughs> that is about the most unique thing I've heard lately. Good. Yeah, see, okay. It's supposed to be unique. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you made it this far, comment down below what you were almost named. Peace.